Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. <laughs> Augmented reality is making leaps and bounds as of late, with products like Microsoft's HoloLens and other apps that allow you to see digital objects rendered over the real world. Well, this week, a Google-backed startup called Magic Leap released a short video showing off what it could potentially be capable of. In the video, we see a demo of a small robot hiding under a desk. The video has a disclaimer on it stating that the video was shot directly through Magic Leap technology on October 14, 2015, without the use of special effects or compositing. As the user moves closer to the robot, we notice that the leg of the desk is in front of the robot, suggesting some sort of 3D mapping technology. The video continues with an amazing look at our solar system in augmented reality as a woman works in the background at her computer. Last March, Magic Leap released its first product video showing off interfaces and then a game where the user is blasting robots with a futuristic weapon. So if this is any indication of what we are in store for in the next few years, you can count me in. A Lego genius by the name of Jason Ailman, aka JK Brickworks on the internets and on YouTube, has built a working three number combination safe out of Lego bricks and produced a short video along with instructions on how to build your own. He used an older Millennium Falcon piece from 2003 to create the dial for the safe, which when turned to the proper positions will unlock the deadbolt inside the safe and allow you to take it out of its housing revealing the golden Lego bricks inside. The safe was built in a way where it cannot be easily taken apart when locked. One would have to physically break the Lego pieces and destroy the safe altogether, but if you know the secret combination, the golden Lego bricks inside can be yours. Stop. Right. Stop. Read more about the Lego safe and watch the entire video embedded in the Crave blog post. Sit back, relax, and enjoy 45 minutes of slow motion NASA Apollo rocket launches set to mellow piano music. Sounds mildly enjoyable. YouTube user Space Videos has put together a long, slow, drawn out video of Apollo 8, Apollo 11, and Apollo 12 in 16 millimeter launch views according to the video's description. You can find the entire video embedded in the Crave blog post. Harvard is developing a tiny drone called the RoboBee that can both fly through the air like a bee and swim through water kind of like a jellyfish. We are now moving past quadcopters and larger drones and entering into the age of insect-sized drone robots, which is kind of scary. Engineers at Harvard Johnson A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Science Microbiotics Lab studied the flying and swimming habits of the puffin, a bird that flies and swims using its wings, and discovered a lot of similarities between flapping wings for flight and flapping fins for swimming. The RoboBee was outfitted with very fragile and thin wings and was programmed to flap its wings at a rate of 120 beats per second for flight. When the RoboBee enters the water, the speed of the wing flapping is then slowed to 9 beats per second for slower, safer travel through water that won't damage the wings. The wings also change their angle of attack for both flight and in the water. The RoboBee currently has to be tethered to a power source because having an onboard power source at this point would make it too heavy for flight, and it also cannot take off from water yet because of weight restrictions. But it's a start. And in the coming years, we can look forward to swarms of robotic bees that can follow you into the water, so don't you worry. All right, guys, that was the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave. And check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Fluence FI50 Bluetooth speaker. Win a wireless speaker that got high marks from CNET for its premium sound and affordability. Go to the blog and enter to win.
Yes. If this is a counselorship, where is the ambassador? <laughs> No! I'll take them myself. Cover me. <laughs> <laughs>